I've already shuffled and we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and your person. We'll find out what's coming up. We'll see what the challenge is going to be and then we'll find out what the outcome is. So, so Gemini, the recent past energy, well, we got the Six of Wands, and it's with the Emperor. Yeah, so, Six of Wands, it's a very interesting card in the deck. It's actually about recognition, victory, success. Yeah, when you get the Six of Wands, if you're anxious about a court proceeding where you want to win your lover's heart, you're, you're, you will be victorious. This can indicate any kind of celebration. You could be part of a graduation party or commencement celebration, or you could be receiving a reward for good work that you've done. This Six of Wands makes you feel really good about yourself. You could feel as if you got a lot of support from everyone around you. On the other hand, you could adore someone else by where adoring them makes you feel amazing. Yeah, so it's paired with the Emperor. Now the Emperor, it shows domination. Domination over the mind, over the heart. And that's sometimes necessary, even though it's not wanted. In fact, this should be welcomed in. That's what you need to think about when you get the emperor. Because when hard choices have to be made, it's important to maintain your concentration, maintain your focus. Well, the emperor signals this, but he also signals that now is a time that you find it easier to make hard choices. And I say this because the emperor is a type that uses his head, not his heart. So enjoy the assertiveness and the confidence that this self-control and focus brings. So the recent past energy, Gemini between me and your person, Six of Wands, clarified by the emperor. So... What I'm getting, what I'm picking up on is that for a lot of you, Gemini's, you wanted victory and success with someone, and you wanted recognition, you wanted them to recognize you, but it, it looks like, wow, with the Emperor here, they didn't really show you much. They didn't express any emotions. They didn't open up their heart. This person, um, they could be a leader or a boss, really arrogant. Because the emperor is, is kind of cold. Yeah, they don't do emotions really well. So you didn't get much out of this person. You felt like you didn't even know where you stood with them. But you wanted, you wanted to win their heart. You wanted them to recognize you, to acknowledge you. You wanted victory and success with this person, but you couldn't tell if they were interested or not. The emperor, no emotions with the emperor. It's very, very cold in the room when you get the emperor. Yeah, but you wanted to win this person's heart. Yeah, you wanted to open up their, their what did he call it, the love chakra? <laughs> yeah. Anyway, you really like this person, and you just didn't get much out of them. So, yeah, the emperor is really cold. The emperor would rather have you die. They'd rather have you die wanting to know what's inside their heart. They just don't do emotions really well. Very cold energy. Now let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what's coming up. We got the Seven of Pentacles and the Eight of Cups. Seven of Pentacles and Eight of Cups for you and, you and this person. 
Now, the Seven of Pentacles can be a card about returns on investments. It can be literal, maybe a bank account returning money to you, or figuratively, such as investments of time, effort, and energy that you put into a relationship. It's about reaping what you have sown. And this is a positive thing. You'll be feeling more secure than you have in a while. Things will be moving along, and you'll be feeling more hopeful about the future with a good cause. You may have to decide whether to put your energy into things, people, and situations that you're already involved with, or whether to spend your energy trying to bring more into your life. Now, it's with the Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups often means that you'll choose to leave a situation that's no longer working. Whether it's a relationship, job, a neighborhood, there could be some sadness involved. But the separation is in your best interest. There's just know that renewed good times, they lie ahead. And if your gut is telling you that you really need to get out of a relationship, job, or living arrangement, trust yourself. Instead of this information coming out of the blue, this can sometimes mean that you're the one who will choose to leave. Just know that very often one, very often one door has to close behind before the next door in front of you can fully open. So, that's what's coming up. Seven of Pentacles, clarified by this Eight of Cups for you and your person. So, yeah, what I'm getting is, like I said, this emperor, this person that you really like and wanted their attention, they're not opening up. They're just being just cold. It makes you feel, it's making me feel like I'm getting chills. Yeah, no emotion, no expre expression. Yeah, so at one point coming up, you might feel like you need to just put more energy and effort into it. Like this lady's doing with the Seven of Pentacles. She's watering a plant. She takes really good care of it. She nurtures it in the morning and before she goes to bed. When she first got it, it was a little tiny, teeny little baby. She could hold the plant in the palm of her hand. And now it's about eight feet tall. The leaves are dark and rich in color. So you're thinking, coming up, you're thinking if you, you just need to feed it. Yeah, that's what you're thinking. Well, if, if maybe somebody, your parents or a friend told you, feed it and it'll grow. You just got to keep putting energy and effort into it and... This person will come around and then they'll, somebody maybe told you that. So that's what you could be thinking about doing to win this person. Just putting a lot of energy and effort into it. But I'm getting chills. I know how the emperor is. They do not open up. They're really cold. I'm getting chills. So, because it's with the Eight of Cups, it looks like you gave it a thought to put energy and effort into it and make it, try to make it grow. But then you gave it time and maybe you thought about it and you just decided to give up. You're walking away. You know, the Eight of Cups, it means that you're walking away. You're withdrawing. You're throwing up your hands. You're leaving it behind. So let's move on over. Let's see what the challenge is. We got the Queen of Pentacles. And it's with the Three of Pentacles. Now, the Queen of Pentacles can be a card about spending money, time, energy on your home, getting it to be more comfortable. This is a good thing, provided you don't take on too much debt. People could be looking to you for insight, maybe advice. You'll be able to help them if you decide to do so. It's a time period when you can get a lot accomplished. Now, it's with the Three of Pentacles, which is a positive card, especially when it comes to work, career questions, but it's an overall good card. In the tarot, it means that you're doing well. The Three of Pentacles tells you that people around you, they appreciate you and your efforts, and they notice the quality of work you do, even if you don't get paid for it. 
It tells you to keep doing what you're doing because you're right on track. There could be some room for improvement, but you will not have to scrap something and then start again. So the challenge, Queen of Pentacles, clarified by this Three of Pentacles. So yeah, like I said, you're walking away. It's just too difficult to get this person to open up to you. Like I said, I'm I'm getting chills and this is not even my reading. And um, so with the Queen of Pentacles here for your challenge, you're falling back. You're walking away. Um, this person is the Three of Pentacles. They could just be the type that is focused on work and career. Yeah, with the Three of Pentacles showing up here. But it doesn't matter because you're at the point where, yeah, you're no longer trying to fight for this. You just want comfort. Like she's doing, she's falling. The Queen of Pentacles is the card above the word challenge. She's falling back. She's taking joy in the ordinary things. She's in her backyard. She's sitting on her lounge chair. She's taking pride and comfort that she's got money in the bank. She's cuddling a huge pinnacle when you hear the word pinnacles in the tarot. That means money, cash, coins, finance, income. She's feeding the squirrels, her dog, mister. He's keeping her toes warm, wondering where has she been. She's been chasing somebody that hasn't been showing her much. So, your dog missed you. So, you're just taking comfort in the things that you know that you have security with. Yeah, the things and the people that you know who love you. Yeah, you walked away, Gemini. This person is probably career focused. Like I said, the Three of Pentacles, it could be regarding work and career. They could be working really hard on a project and just trying to stay focused on. Um, yeah, trying to um, do better at work or something. They're career focused. Could be, could be. Now let's move on over. Let's see what the outcome is. We've got the Six of Swords. And it's with Temperance. Now the Six of Swords can indicate some type of movement, a change in where you are inwardly. Usually it changes for the better, whether it's internal or external. It's about thinking where you want to be. There's a slight reduction in stress and strain. Things may not be perfect, but they're better than they were in the recent past. So it's about taking this time to get your head above the water and decide where you're going from here. Now it's with temperance. Temperance is about things going pretty well. But you might need to look at any deep personal issues and see if they're standing in your way. And if they are, how to work through them and integrate them. Because the ideal is to do what it takes to find balance in yourself, with your relationships, and any goals and aspirations. So the outcome, Gemini, Six of Swords, clarified by temperance. So, yeah, this person kind of, they kind of seem like a friend to you now, or there's no really romantic. You might have had some, you did, well, you did have romantic interest in this person. I was going to say you probably did, but you, you definitely did, because I'm looking at the Six of Wands. Like I said, the Six of Wands is about victory recognition. And when it talks about relationships, the Six of Wands, there's a lot of passion there. There's a lot of sexual chemistry, sexual magic. So, yeah, you you wanted this person. Not only did you like them, but you you felt like you wanted to have this person. If you know what I mean. But anyway... The outcome with the Six of Swords here, these two people in a boat, they, 
they're not looking at each other, they're not facing each other. So I'm, I'm getting that you two might kind of like go your separate ways, but there's no big fight or no blow up or anything like that. You just had a okay place. There's really not much going going on. <laughs> there was one subscriber, that's it. When she saw the Six of Swords in one of my readings. It's so funny. She said, um, she said, yeah, that's me and my person. And I'm two fools in a boat going nowhere. So you might kind of feel like that at this point coming up. Yeah, it just didn't look, it doesn't look like it's going anywhere for now. Maybe this person will come around later after they finish working on their projects or whatever they're trying to do. Maybe teamwork. That's what you get with the Three of Pentacles. Collaboration. It's about work and career. So, yeah, like I said, um, no big fight. You're just kind of like, I don't know, you feel like you're maybe in a friend zone, friend zone with this person. Maybe you feel like they put you there. And you're just trying to find balance now because you were probably kind of, kind of stuck in your head about how to get this person to open up or recognize you. But anyway, this is, this is kind of a cute reading. It's, it reminds me of someone that has, that has a crush on someone. Yeah, those can be kind of tricky because you never know what the other person has going on. But anyway, that's your reading, Gemini. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I'll also put a link below on the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you. how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So Gemini, thank you so very much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Just hang in there. It's going to pass. We'll all get through this, so stay strong. Take good care of yourselves. Come back and join me for the next Gemini reading. Just in case this did not resonate, maybe the next reading will. Also keep in mind, if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, the other person could be a friend. Could be a family member. Or a situation. Just take the readings for however it resonates. Because these are general readings, they're not personal readings. And yes, the roles can be reversed. They can be switched. You could be them, and they could be you. So, Gemini, thank you so very much for watching. I hope that you have a great day. I hope to see you at the next reading, and take care.